everybody welcome to today's video and i am going to go on like a little little free library tour around london because i didn't sleep last night and um <laughs> i just want to have a little look because i haven't been to any of them this one and it is adorable this is it so i'm gonna have a little look and put one inside I remember this from school. Wow. Oh my god, I've got a lot of Michael Maporka. Mm. They haven't really got any adult books. Although being very cute and having loads of children's books, it was not the one. It was, yeah, it was just like, just children's books and I'm not really in the market for any children books, especially because I have quite a few at home already that I need to actually like do like a big unhaul and go through. So on to the next one, wherever that is, I need to look on the map. And because like in America, like there's literally like one on every block near enough. Well, not everywhere, but like in some neighborhoods. But in London, <laughs> no. <laughs> like I have to like literally walk for like, 30 or usually more minutes or take like a bus it's the next one this one looks a bit more promising with adult books so yeah i might just have like just a little like look on my own because yeah okay so i'm gonna put this one in and take So I got um, the wrong bus, but it's okay. It just means I have a longer walk, which is fine because Lord knows I need cardio. Anyway, I'm going to another little library I now. I found it. This is so sweet. Okay, I mean, <laughs> there's not much here, but let's have a little look. Oh, this looks nice. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, no. Honestly, I don't think there's anything. That's just such a waste of it. The Scarlet Letter. Which is like a classic and i've never read it before but i really want to read it so yeah i'm now walking along the grand union canal towards another little library that is like near like westbourne grove sort of area it's a prettyish walk along the canal yeah found this really cute little like secluded bit like just away from the like proper canal and there's like a little like green like green. <laughs> there's a little like river thing i haven't slept you know that right it's a dog i think <laughs> but like it's like a little like secret garden sort of thing like <laughs> i keep saying like i know i'm british um <laughs> but it's green from the algae not from I'm taking a thumbnail. Um, not because it's like meant to be green. <laughs> it's water, but it's like algae water. I wonder if it's anywhere nice to sit because I got some sushi from Amazon and I kind of want to like have it because I haven't eaten anything yet. So I'm just like exploring in the hope I can find like a nice bench 
I hope I don't like see someone <laughs> because um, social anxiety. Oh, that's nice. The sun. Ooh. Maybe that'll be better. All right. Um, I'm gonna explore a bit and see this if. This is can. the Meanwhile Wildlife Garden. Can you shush? Um. This is a fun little like little library slash. Uh, canal exploring adventure vlog thing how are you all doing you doing good that's nice um, <laughs> but i don't know i hope you are if not um talk to people um you know get help uh there's no there's nothing ever bad in just asking for help there's no shame in it it's um it's a natural response to life you know so yeah this is nice and sunny <laughs> okay i'm gonna have a score a bit i'll see you in a bit nice little like bit to sit it's quite secluded and quiet which is good the second i get it out my my mom like a whole like row of like these volunteer people is one at wildlife place come and they're all just like staring at me it's like Seriously, seriously, seriously. This is the next one. <laughs> Let's have a little snooze. Look at all these lovely little puppies. Wow, she's beautiful. Okay, I mean, it's not that much, but I'll have a little look. It's really cute. Look, it's all like kind. This one is quite interesting. I might have a look on the bus. If it's not like that interesting, then I'm going to re donate it to another one. So, yeah. I've come to Kensington Garden Square looking for one. I've seen the most Thank stupid you. thing ever. So it advertises it and I can see it over there. But like, it's a private garden. So, like, maybe you should advertise that on the website now. No? We've arrived at another really cute one. It's like um, peacock sort of design. Okay, so there's a lot of. I was just mysterious. Yeah, that's really like good inch. My phone battery is on like 5%, so I'm going to go to Westfield and go to the Apple store and try and charge it for a bit because like, I've still got quite a few more to go to. Also my like foot is like kind of hurting me, but I'll suffer for the content. Please, Apple Westfield, pull through because my phone is dying. It worked. Apple pulled through. Uh, so it was on like 3% and I got it to 21. So that's enough for the rest of the day anyway. The third to last one, which is cute. It's on a really busy street though, so I don't really like. So I'm just going to do a little like this and then I'll have a little look myself. Huge thanks to everyone who's donated to our little library recently. You have no idea how much it helps other people. Have a wonderful weekend. Oh, that's sweet. I'm going to look at this. So I think I might take this. Um, and then, because I because this is the first time I've gone to them, so I didn't really bring that many. But I definitely want to come and back sometime and then I'll like donate some. <laughs> Next one. Oh, this is really cute. Let's have a little look. Oh, that's the last book I remember reading was by him, but not that one.
I've never read Life of Pi, but I've always wanted to. I've seen a film, but it was kind of like boring, but... Mm, Othello. It's not that much, but I'm going to have a little nosy. I so nearly missed this one. It's like... <laughs> I mean, it's not in the best shape. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, um... Yeah, that was a waste of my journey and my very achy feet, but oh well, the day of the library is complete. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna go to Clapham Common, maybe. I found this like other book in the other one. It was like this like collection of like poetry of from like like loads of different women on like the idea of like freedom. And I was like, yes, a battle so, I did come to Clapham Common. Well, I walked like through it basically from South Clapham to Clapham Common, which I'm coming up to now. Um, but I was just like, I'm too tired to like sit and like all do all that stuff. I might go like near the Thames. I'm gonna go to the Thames. I'll think about it and see. You know? Back to the end of the bridge. Back to the north. Side of the Thames. Not going up north. Okay. I'm not gonna go to like the Thames. Because I'm on like the bus that goes like near where I live ish. So I'm just gonna go home and show you the whole there. I'm wondering why I was like saying that my feet was hurting. Um, yeah, that. <laughs> oh my god, this bus is seriously taking so long. I just want to get home. I'm so tired. Hello, everybody. So, if you can't tell from my different um, appearance, it's the next day. I've just come home from like being out. But I promise you a haul. So. Here's the haul of books I got from the little free library trip I just went on yesterday. So this is the one that I was talking about that is <laughs> P-H-A-T-T-T -T -T, Fat, <laughs> um, The Blind Detective by Margaret Atwood. And it was actually the winner of the Booker Prize in, I don't know when it came out, 200, 200 well. <laughs> 2001 um yeah so i don't exactly know what it's about it just it just kind of looks interesting and then i got uh oh dear sylvia by dawn french and this is it's not like the second one as in the sequel to the other one i got the other day um it's under here um a tiny bit marvellous. But it's like the second book she wrote after that. It shows you The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Okay, I was on the bus and I was, I read, I started to read some of like the introduction. And I was like, oh, okay. I do not know what's going on here. And then I was like reading online, I was like, do you actually have to read the introduction? And people was like, not necessarily. So I was like, okay, I'll start on chapter one. And I was like, oh, um, <laughs> this is not really for me. So then I was going to read Donate It and sort of draw another book. But I was like, oh, my friend might like it because she likes things about like this sort of like topic. like, And like, it's a classic. And yeah, so, uh, so I called my friend if she wanted it. And she said she wouldn't mind. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep it and give it to her. And then like, if she doesn't want it afterwards, then she can redonate it and stuff. So, yep. And then I got She Will Soar, which is a collection of poetry. Uh, Bright, brave poems above freedom by women. has been like collected together by Anna Sampson. 
Um, and this, oh, this just looks so like amazing. Like, I, I literally love the look of it. It says it's an uplifting collection of bright, brave poems about freedom written by women from the ancient world right up to the present day. It includes poems on wanderlust, travel, daydreams, flights of fantasy, escaping into books, tranquility, courage, hope and resilience. From frustrated housewives to passionate activists, from servants and suffragettes to some of today's most gifted writers. Here is a bold choir of voices demanding independence and celebrating their hard-won power. Yes. <laughs> So, oh my god, I actually cannot wait. This is just, I cannot wait to dig into this. App. I'm like contemplating on getting this one. So, I got a Life of Pi. Um, I haven't read the book. I sort of watched some of the film, but I was like, I cannot get into this. But when I read it, it sounded kind of interesting. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and read it. If I don't like it, then I haven't really gambled anything. And then I can just you know, pass it on. And this is by Jan Martel. And then this one I got, which is kind of interesting. Um, oh, <laughs> I left my little spray things from, um, from John Lewis in there because <laughs> why did I put them in the book? I mean, I must just find them in the bag. But yeah, so this is Saving Missy by Beth Murray. And it's sort of like, I think, like a second chance or like romance sort of thing. Interesting. I feel like my mum is gonna like she might like this to pour it after because I was told telling her about it and she doesn't really she doesn't read any books. Um, and she was like, you know what? Keep it. I might want to read it. So I was like, okay. I think if I if I find something that she might like, then why not? <laughs> And then the final book I got yesterday was The Mistletoe Murder and Other Stories. And this is a collection of four stories by P.D. James, who is the acknowledged queen of crime. So that sounds interesting. And they're all like about like 30, 40 pages long. So it's like, I feel like this would be like really interesting to read. Maybe better like during Christmas time, but... I mean, I'll see. I might, like, read one soon, and if I, like, like the look of it, and then I might read them all, and then, you know. You know. Um, yeah. And then, quickly, just a side note, because I got it today. I got this one in my Poundland, because it was closing down, so they had 75% off, so it was, like, 25p. This is called No Good Deeds by Goldie Moldavaski. Um, and it's meant to be sort of, like, a parody on, like, sort of, like, the social justice like warriors sort of like thing like and i read some reviews and, and it's and it, they say that she isn't like really like, making fun of like like these like social like activist sort of like generation and like groups of people but it's more like exploring like the toxicity of some of it but also like the importance in a way i don't know but yeah it's uh some of the reviews i read seemed like it's going to be quite good and it's going to be quite funny as well and i was reading that on the bus i've read like one chapter and yeah it definitely does seem quite like intriguing so yeah and it's like ya so it's like kind of easy to get through so yeah so with all of my books i got from the hall yesterday um i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you're feeling well and have a nice day and i'll see you very soon bye bye